Why that song and performance? It is because we are wearing a little half pony. We have a half pony situation going on. Hello, my babies. You're here again with me, baby. Welcome back to my YouTube. We have reached our 4K mark, and I did already post the giveaway details on my Instagram. So if you missed it, please head on over to my IG. I'll also put the link in the description box. We have some really, really cool prizes. I'm going to be choosing five winners. Okay, I just did a 10. I'm choosing five winners. So join now. It's really so easy to do. And also thank you so, so much to everybody who has been supporting this channel. It has been so awesome. So I'm just super grateful. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> anyway, let's get down to it. My latest obsession is this pair of loafers from Prada. They are so... I just, I don't even know the word to describe. They are so cool. They're classic. They're a bit on the chunky side, so still a bit edgy. So I was obsessed. I had to find these shoes and I decided to drop by Greenbelt in Makati. There aren't a lot of stores where you can buy luxury pieces here in the Philippines. Greenbelt is one of them and I was sure that there's a product there. So I paid a little visit and lo and behold, the shoe was there indeed. Only problem is it was either a size 39 or a 35. I unfortunately have 38 feet so I couldn't really gauge if they were comfy or not because I didn't have my size. They looked so good though so I asked the sales associate to you know let me know when they're going to have new stocks or whatever and he told me that there is another branch of Prada in Soler which I've never visited. I've never actually gone to the shopping area of that mall casino i don't really gamble so it never really crossed my mind to visit solaire for some shopping and i was like okay he called i had my size there there was a 38 and a 38 and a half just in case i need a half size up they reserved it for me for like two days but i, I was too excited so i just went ahead and just Scoot it over to Solaire. <laughs> By the way, they are open till 9! All the malls are open till like 7 or 6, but that one was till 9, so my mind was a bit blown. The first thing you see is like a universe store, and then you have a bunch of other brands that I didn't even know had stores. So I was just really like, what? <laughs> no! We were already there, so you might as well check out all of the other stores. So that's why we're gonna do a little tour. You see, of course, your Louis Vuittons, which had a really long line, so I didn't even bother. We walked a little bit, and I was just like, <gasps> There is a Dior in the Philippines! Holy cow! They had the Lady Dior's, like all of them. The minis, the seasonal ones with a lot of little beads, you know, funky but really cool. We also have the classic Dior's, we have the ones with the gold hardware, the ones with the silver hardware, or even the ones that were matte. So, ah! Uh, all of the sizes were there as well. I really gravitated towards the small though and I decided to try a couple of them. I ended up really liking three different kinds of black Lady Dior's. <laughs> I really want a bag that will stand the test of time. For me, it has to be the color that would be the darkest, that would never get color transfer. So I decided to try all of these blacks. There came a patent, we have the lambskin, and we have the matte the ultra matte which was so gorgeous in real life i also got to see and try other bags like the caro bag we also have the saddle bags the mini is just ridiculously small so that's a never for me but the medium is a definite yes i said that i really wanted a black but i tried a gray lady dior and it was just so cute as well the color is so different from any of my other bags somehow it worked with my skin tone i never thought that a gray would work but oh my goodness
I had a super super friendly and sweet SA. Her name is Erica. I don't have an Instagram handle to tag her in, but if you guys are looking to go to Dior, you could look for her. She's so nice and she really assisted me and Jack so well. Okay, the vibe inside the Dior store was just so bright and inviting and I maybe that's a bad thing because you'll feel like you need to buy something. <laughs> But no, I just really had a nice, lovely time there and I do look forward to coming back. Another store that really surprised me, I did not know that there was a Fendi in the Philippines. We went inside and then they have all of these new Fendi collections with the vertigo patterns, the multicolors, the new baguettes, the ones in Napa leather, we have the canvas. Ah! Grabe! It really is like so special, the new collection. I don't know what it is about the colors. It's so 70s but also so 90s. I feel like Fendi did an amazing job with these comebacks of their bags and the style of the baguette and everything from the 90s and now it's here and we are all losing our minds because we're all about that retro feel. The 90s were the good times. <laughs> we like to be reminded of the good times. I did try on the Fendi baguette in the classic monogram, the new one. It comes with a strap. It is so lightweight, my goodness, you guys. Compared to my Chanel, it was like half the weight or even less. Definitely a contender, a newbie in my wish list. If I can afford it in December, we'll see what we can do. There was also a Givenchy and they didn't have much stuff there. I mean, even the Pandora bags. I feel like I'm slowly falling out of love with these Pandora bags. So it's pretty good that I didn't really pull the trigger on any of them because, you know, I am adding new wants to my list and the Pandora is going down and down my wish list. So this is why we have to do our window shopping and this is why we have to see the bags in person because sometimes you just see pictures and you're like, I want that. And then you realize later on, you don't really want it. It was just a phase. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's most of the tour. We did end up going to Prada eventually. And let me tell ya, the shoes were amazing! They fit perfect! They fit true to size. They have really, really good quality. I'm going to say that it is so much prettier in person than it is in pictures. And that said, it, it must be really, really photogenic. So the Prada store in Solaire had so much shoe options compared to Greenbelt. So if you guys are looking to find shoes, go to Solaire. But since we are on the topic of this Prada loafer, guys, let me just get into it very, very honestly. For this price, you guys, it is almost 70,000 pesos for a pair of leather loafers. Sure, really amazing materials. It will last you a long time. But will you wear it? My answer is no. Oh, Lord. I don't know why, but all of the videos that I've watched here on YouTube, everybody says that this shoe is comfortable, it's great, you can wear it all the time, but I fitted it, did like 10 steps, and my feet felt like they were dying. It didn't even take two minutes for me to decide that this was not for me. Just a disclaimer, I am used to shoes like Yeezys. They are so comfortable. When I say comfortable, they're really comfortable. So I don't like sugarcoat things. If they are hard, they are hard. The part where there is a heel, this part made my heel feel like I was stepping on stones. 
it was so hard. I don't understand why there was no type of cushioning to kind of just poof up your feet a little bit. Um, overall, they feel like Doc Martens before, you know, breaking them in. And I'm sure these shoes will be broken in as well. If you wear them a lot, they would get a little bit softer. But with the Doc Martens feel, which I have, by the way, and I have learned to accept my Docs, these were just on another level, guys on another level of pain. That said, obviously the answer is no, I did not purchase these shoes even if I really wanted to. I was so open to it. I was mentally prepared because I was looking for a Christmas gift to myself and this was gonna be it. But guys, no. It's just a no, 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 no for me. Besides the fact that it is not comfortable like even a little bit, I realized that maybe if I'm gonna get a Prada, I might as well just really stick to bags. And if I'm getting shoes, maybe get Doc Martens or stick to my comfier shoes. Like my New Balances, my Yeezys, and my Chuck Taylors. I mean, I think those are really the only shoes that I can handle if we're talking about sneakers. But if we are talking about loafers or sandals, my go-tos are usually Doc Martens or even Melissa and Crocs. So you know that my feet are used to the comfort. They really just can't deal with hard shoes like these. And I honestly, which is weird because I really want a pair of Oran sandals. In the future just because of how they look i'm not really sure how my feet are going to fare with them so i think i must try it as well see if it's worth it the cuteness is it worth it if you have any thoughts on that please let me know in the comment section down below i would appreciate it but yeah that said might as well stick to the bags prada bags are so so cute I really want still a re-edition bag and I have been thinking of getting it in a fun color if there is one but you know a black would be a really steady choice as well so hmm. So yes anyway that is all the time we have for today. I'm not really sure what else I missed from this little shop with me type of video. Did you enjoy this kind of video or you know should I just stick to these unboxing review type Type of things at home let me know because I really like watching people's stories when they go shopping I feel like I'm shopping with them so if you guys enjoyed this type of content please let me know so I can keep on recording it for you and showing to you guys you know what kind of stock is available in certain stores I feel like that's gonna be fun especially now that we're allowed to kind of go around once again of course just a reminder everybody, please keep safe, wear a mask, wear your shield, you know, wash your hands, alcohol. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also click the link so you can join our giveaway. Yay! I'll see you again next time. Peace and love. Bye!